congratulations, you've just got reason. You're ready to make some amazing music. But first, you've got to do a little one-time setup. And let's face it, the setup screens are not the most exciting process. But in a couple minutes, we'll walk you through the process and get you onto the fun stuff. And as a reward for sticking out the boring stuff with us, we just might show you an adorable puppy at the end of this video. The first time you run Reason, you'll be asked to set up the inputs and outputs for your audio and MIDI hardware. First up is the sound input and output. Here we see every sound hardware option we have available to us. This includes any external USB audio interfaces with custom drivers we may have installed, or it could be as simple as the built-in sound card on our computer. We'll choose the built-in sound card, and we'll leave the sample rate at its default setting. If you have a MIDI keyboard, a hardware mixing controller, or a drum pad controller, you can set it up for use in Reason. If you don't have any such hardware, simply click Skip. Many popular brands and models of keyboards will be recognized and set up automatically simply by choosing Auto Detect, like this. But what if your particular controller isn't auto detected? Fortunately, setup is still a breeze. Choose your manufacturer and keyboard model. If your manufacturer or specific keyboard isn't listed, you can always choose Other as your manufacturer and MIDI Control Keyboard as a generic profile. When choosing your controller manually, you'll also be prompted to specify any MIDI inputs or outputs that are available on your device. Reason's main window uses the F5, F6, and F7 keys for switching between the mixer, rack, and sequencer views. On Mac computers, you may want to change your system preferences to activate these keys which are reassigned by Apple for control of iTunes and keyboard backlighting. The next screen helps us improve Reason by having your copy of Reason send us error reports and usage statistics to make sure it's performing as expected. We're not collecting any personal information, and certainly none of your music. If you're the private type, you can uncheck this box to disable this. The last screen is where you choose what you want to do next. You can open a demo song to start looking around a finished song and getting inspired, or you can set up a template that will be used every time you start a new song. I like to choose a new song template, set it to empty plus effects, and click finish. This sets me up in Reason with a blank song ready for me to do my thing, but it also pre-wires some basic effects devices into my mixer which I use all the time when writing new music. And that's it! You're set up and ready to go. If you're wondering where to go next, be sure to check out our other Getting Started video with DJ Lucky Date, where he makes your first beat together with you. Good luck and enjoy Reason! Oh! I nearly forgot about that promise. Okay, you earned it. Here you go.